Hello YouTube, the Wolfman of Unlockable Content here, Lewis Wolf, about to go to the movies. But before I start in on that, and we haven't even decided what we're going to see yet, we're, I have to start with this. I was just looking through uh, some family storage that I had, and I found these. These tickets for AMC, AMC Silver Experience, good for one admittance. Got two of them. Uh, these things have to be close to a decade old. I'm not exactly sure where I got them. I don't remember. There's a thank you card in here, uh, but I don't remember the names or where or when I got these. There's no date. The interesting thing is there's no expiration date on these either. So we're going to walk in and we're going to see what's up with, uh, with trying to cash in these tickets and see if we can get a free entry in. So let's go check it out. See if these work. They'll still work. They still work. Huh? Uh, the 7:30 Dark Tower. They still work. Hey everybody, the Wolfman of Unlockable Content here, Lewis Wolf, doing a real quick recording because I'm actually at work. I mean, I'm off the clock right now, but I'm I'm where I work. I'm in the building, so I want to just get this recording done really quick so that nobody disturbs me or you don't hear anything from outside. Doing a quick movie review. Uh, you saw earlier I did that whole thing with the, uh, with the tickets. <laughs> that was funny. They worked. They worked. And we saw Dark Tower together, me and my, uh, me and my fiance. So, Dark Tower. Uh, real quick, 7 out of 10. Um, it was short. It was oddly short. It felt short. Uh... I, I, I hadn't read it, I'll be honest with that. I mean, I really do enjoy Stephen King, but I hadn't read it. Um, so it, it seemed like there was a lot they were trying to put in, and yet there was so little going on in such a short amount of time. Um, Matthew McConaughey and Idris Elba, they're both fantastic actors. Idris Elba, to me, seemed disinterested. I think he was trying to play stoic, and he just came off as disinterested. And Matthew McConaughey felt reserved. I, mean, I want Matthew McConaughey. He's good at being over the top. He's good at being cocky. I wanted cocky Matthew McConaughey, and he just seemed pulled back. I mean, there's one great moment where he walks through this portal thing, and his arms are out wide, and he's like, you know, hey, I'm here. It's like I wanted more of that. It's, I just there were so many good moments where he could have been an asshole, and he just it felt like he didn't go all the way with it. Uh, kid in the movie was fine. Other actors, they were fine. It, you know, Stephen King being Stephen King, uh, the, the great thing about this movie, and I'm not going to spoil any moments for it, I never try to spoil in these, uh, it, this movie is like a, a, you could play a drinking game with trying to find all of the other Stephen King references throughout it, they're just peppered in, and it's really fun to find them. I caught most of them, and then I looked up some other ones later, because they do a, a weird thing to referencing, uh, you know, the psychic powers that happen in this, and I was wondering, like, wait, is there some kind of, like, Stephen King MCU that I didn't know to know about and apparently Dark Tower actually kind of is that if you read the books it's there's uh, I was told it's kind of a thing I, I don't know I, I'll need to look into that more I'll need to read it but um it wasn't bad uh, I'm glad that I saw it with these tickets and I got them for free uh, so I mean it's it's definitely worth seeing especially if you're a fan of Idris Elba or Matthew McConaughey or both or whoever uh, if you're really really a hardcore Stephen King fan you'll probably really enjoy this or enjoy it enough uh, it's not bad. 7 out of 10. That's all I got for it. <laughs> so try to go through it quickly. Like I said, uh, hope you enjoyed this and take care.